Hey everybody, repeat I'm handicapping the races from my hometown track, Philadelphia Park in Ben Salem, PA. It is Monday afternoon, October the 6th, and this is my day at the track.com race of the day. I'm going to focus on race 5 this afternoon, folks, 2.04 p.m. Eastern Post Time for the 6th furlong sprint on the dirt. Phillies and mares, 3 years old and up. Race for a claiming purse of $18,000. Contenders number 2, Indy USA. Number 1A, Whiskey Swish. Number four, General Persuasion, and number nine, Princess VG. Number two, Indy USA, is the pace profile leader in this climbing field today, sprinting at six furlongs on the dirt. Has hit the board in each of his last four, winning twice, including a power run win his last time out. Jockey Abel Mariano and trainer Scott Lake sent him to the post this afternoon. They've hit the board with 51% of their entry saddles as a team to date. As noted on numerous occasions in the past, Mr. Lake is annually one of North America's leading trainers in terms of win percentages. <laughs> Number 1A, Whiskey Swish, a 9-2 shot, has hit the board in each of her last five starts, with her last two outings, including a win in her second race back, also qualifying as power runs. Race 5 summary number 2 in the USA tops the contenders list, which also includes number 1A, Whiskey Swish, number 4, General Persuasion, and number 9, Princess BG, 2149 in the 5th from Philly Park. A couple of bonus long shots for you as usual, folks. Let's go to Finger Lakes in upstate New York first. Race 9, number 10, Elusivity, a 8 to 1 shot, qualifies as a power pony, takes a big class drop of 26 Trackmaster class units. Nice overall speed with this mile 70 yard test on the dirt. Race at Turf Paradise in Phoenix, Arizona today as well. Race 5, number 7, Winter in Seattle. A 10 to 1 bomb has better overall speed, sprinting at 5.5 for months in the dirt than the favorite. Number 1, Petite Cachet. So from Philly Park on a Monday afternoon, Rick Needham for a day at the track.com, or by the way, you can wager on these races, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.